Well, one of the longest running plays is heading to the stage right here in Madison. And joining us now to talk about the University Theater's upcoming production of The Mousetrap is Stuart Mott and Nicole Carter. Both of them are acting in the show. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. And now this is Agatha Christie's classic, Who Done It? Can you, for those who haven't seen it, can you give us a little synopsis? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as the curtain rises, or I guess as the show begins, we don't really use curtains anymore, um, the, the audience is informed through a, a radio broadcast that there's been a murder that's taken place in London, and also that the weather is getting really bad. Uh, and so you kind of get the idea of what's going on. And then after that, we kind of switch scenes, and then we see the, the opening of a guest house, and it's um, Molly Ralston and Giles Ralston. Okay, their parts. Their, yes, mm -hmm. their guest house. And then four kind of shady, curious, odd uh, characters end up showing up throughout the first scene. They all have their different personality quirks, mm -hmm. and they arrive, and then eventually they do get snowed in. And so as the second scene starts, then a police officer shows up and tries to draw connections between everybody at the guest house and this murder that occurred in London. And nobody knows the connections between everyone at the guest house and this previous murder. And he wants to prevent a second murder. And no one knows why there might be a second murder. But unfortunately, he's too late and a second murder does don't, don't occur. Don't give us the ending here. Nicole. Don't don't worry. Okay. This is not the ending. This okay. is even given away in all of the, the photos okay. that um, I believe people are <laughs> yes. going to be able to see. Yes. Um, and so all of Act Two is trying to figure out who does both of these murders. And it's quite fun because everybody is very suspicious because of all the different personality quirks that everybody has. And it's hard to know who actually is so the murderer. So it really is not obvious at all to the oh, audience. No. Oh, heavens no. I oh, wouldn't think oh, so. Who done it. <laughs> but this is an interesting part of it, Stuart, is that, mm -hmm. um, and this is the way it's been done since it started back in the 40s, right? Or I guess early 50s in London. Mm -hmm. um, that the audience is asked not to reveal uh, who done it. True. Uh, traditionally speaking, on the West End, after the performance has ended, the uh, the audience is asked to not disclose the identity of the killer uh, to any friends, family who might come see the uh -huh. show. Which I think is one of the reasons the intrigue has been sustained for so long because they've been able to keep it under wraps. And actually, uh, Agatha Christie asked. Uh, her short story, Three Blind Mice, which Mousetrap is based on, to not be published in the UK until six months after the show had closed. Wonderful. And so to this day, it has not been published in the UK. Um, so the book is not published there. Now, will you be doing the same thing for your production in asking the audience members? I believe we will for Madison audiences here. Because it's kind of a tradition. Mm -hmm. I think it's more fun as well. It's fun to get everybody kind of bonding together so that you may know who the murderer is, but that the next audience gets that same feeling of trying to figure out who done it. Well, the entire show starts appropriately on Friday the 13th, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, University Theater production, uh, of course, on campus. And we will have a link on our web channel, NBC15.com, on how you can obtain tickets. But uh, quite a run, July 13th through the 29th. Mm -hmm. yes. So break a leg, both of you, and uh, we'll be uh, interested to see what develops. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.